Ejection fraction or EF is the most common parameter for assessment of the efficiency of the heart. The normal EF is 55 to 65 percent. EF less than 40 percent is considered as low ejection fraction. People with low ejection fraction are considered to be suffering from systolic heart failure and in this condition the heart muscle gets thinned, the heart chambers get enlarged leading to a reduction in the heart pumping efficiency. On the contrary, his, the heart function might be normal but still the heart failure can happen if the heart muscle gets thick and there is a inability to expand because of the stiff heart. So, a thick and stiff heart is called heart failure with preserved ejection fraction. Both these entities present with similar symptoms, but it is very important to differentiate because the treatments are completely different for both conditions. If the efficiency of the left heart is reduced, that is called left heart failure. This is commonly due to a heart attack or abnormal heart rhythm or valvular diseases affecting the left side of the heart. In this condition, there is fluid logging in the lungs predominantly because the fluid gets pent up within the lungs. This causes breathlessness predominantly either on walking or even at rest. On the contrary, if the right side of the heart is damaged because of lung problem or because of blood clots in the lungs or due to some other left heart problems also, in those conditions there will be fluid logging in the other organs of the body, notably the legs, the abdomen, the liver causing pain abdomen and loss of appetite and also the neck veins can be engorged and the face can be swollen. Congestive heart failure is a older term to describe heart failure where there is a failure of both the right side of the heart as well as the left side of the heart. So, in effect, it is a failure of both sides of the heart which used to be called as congestive heart failure. Acute heart failure means person who was completely normal previously suddenly develops symptoms of heart failure such as breathlessness or fluid logging in the other organs of the body. This usually happens over a period of few hours to days or at the maximum a week to 10 days. On the contrary, chronic heart failure is a condition where the heart pumping efficiency is reduced the patient might have significant heart pumping deficiency but still because he gets adapted to the low pumping ability and might remain still without symptoms. In acute heart failure because of the suddenness of the insult the symptoms are florid. In chronic heart failure because it is a gradually developing process the symptoms are very subtle.